Alright guys, back at it again with Mr. Jeff Cummings and we're just going to look at how to make spider guard work with short legs. So guys, did the short guy guard, please check it out. But it is good to kind of revisit this position because a lot of short grapplers say they, from the start, they're just like, I can't do this. Or maybe they have a coach that says, hey, you can't play this guard. So I'm going to show you how I've been able to work around it and kind of my thought process, okay? So just to talk a little bit about the spider guard. So this is spider guard controlling the sleeves. Guys, we're not putting our hands inside. We're gonna make like a little fish hook grip on the outside of the sleeve, sleeves here. And my feet go on the biceps. So whenever I show this position, you can go to one knee if you need to. Whenever I show this position, a lot of people, they're usually too high up on the shoulders. And then from here, I'm not really controlling his arm. He's gonna start swimming, uh, pummeling inside and stuff like that. And I also don't wanna go too low. Same thing. Same thing, exactly. Okay. So I want to stay in the crook of his elbow. So you see where his arm bends, guys? That's the exact spot. Okay. From there, I, I really just want to stay tight. You know, if you're shorter, what we don't want to do, I'm going to have you go up now. I don't want to get into this position where I'm trying to extend my legs out. Boom. That might happen. Or if the guy's over too tall, like, <laughs> you're just like, ah. Yeah. Okay. So whenever I'm playing this position, I'll show a few different angles. I want to pull my knees into towards my chest and I want to post my elbows on the mat guys. And what I'm doing is kind of almost breaking his posture and keeping him close to me. Okay. So that's like the first thing I focus on, not trying to push out all the time, but more so trying to bring him inside. Okay. And I'll even kind of flare my, my, uh, my palm up and that kind of keeps it in tighter. Okay. Once I'm here, you know, I've shown this kind of before, but I'm usually looking for this inside space. So if he's standing up and I see there's space between his legs, it doesn't matter if he's got that grip. I'm going to kick my foot to the floor or just between his legs and look to pull him forward and then trap that, that leg he steps forward with. Okay. I've done this before the overhead sweep, getting my foot on the hip. Okay. And then we can do like a lot of different off balances. So that's the main attack from the spider guard. Whenever I go to spider guard, yeah, whenever I go to spider guard, I'm looking to get this inside space, guys. It doesn't matter which leg I use. I'm just trying to kick and then trap that leg. I can go to like a single leg X, more so grip. I can go on the bicep, bring that leg on the inside on the hip. Okay, it's just preference. And when I can't get that kind of movement, you know, maybe he's got his knees together or something, that's fine. But what I can do is still break that grip, guys and then I can switch to the shallow lasso guard, okay? And I, I like the shallow lasso just because it's a, little, it's a little bit faster. I can always go in and out when I see an opening in his elbow and knee space. Okay, boom, just like that. If you wanna use a deep lasso, you can get into there too. Boom, we, we need to look at that at some point. We've also did uh, go back up. I can also, from here, I can also shoot that Mergali lasso in. Look to break the grip and then get into that Magali sweep. We did that a few times too. So, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're shorter because actually it kind of helps you if you're shorter, if you can keep this, keep this position tight because, you know, you know, he's only got a few options. Either he stays here, his back starts to hurt, or he might go to one side. That's the only time I'm going to start extending. And I'm just going to extend my leg in, the, in the, the side he's going towards. So if he's going towards my left, I'm going to extend my left leg out while pulling the right side in. Keep walking that way. Yeah. Exactly. And then look at his legs because he's walking. That helps me trap that leg, that other leg. Okay. One thing you want to be careful of, maybe you walk to that way again and then try to fake me out. If he goes to switch his direction, I need to be ready to switch too. Okay. If I, if I'm still here and he's going the other way, now he might start to clear my legs and then we're in a bad position. So again, guys, I might extend just in the direction he's going in. I might also extend if I feel like, uh, come down Jeff, I, I know it sucks. If, if I feel like his hips are really close, I stand up. His hips are in really close to me, I can extend here. And I feel his, his shins touching me, so maybe I can switch back to his, his legs, go to his hips, boom. Go for the sweep, or you know, more so now, the guys are just going for your ankles at this point. 
So just to do that one again, I might also extend it if I feel his hips are close to me. If I feel like his hips are close to me, his legs are close. So I'll kind of bump him, almost like a balloon sweep. I can go to the ankles and I can go from here or I can bring my knees uh, close together here or I can go feet on the hips and then off balance in there. And then if I need to, I can come up for a sweep. Boom, or start attacking this bad boy. Boom, okay. What if the guy postures up? So that might happen if you're shorter and the guy just like, I'm gonna posture up. We call this like a deadlift. So I'm here, Jeff starts to posture up. I mean, it's okay. I should be looking to kick under anyway, right? Kick under. If I'm having trouble pulling him here, I can also put my foot on the floor and kind of swivel my hips. Look how I pick my hip off the mat to get under him, okay? So it's not too big of an issue. Again, guys, you need to be active in this position. I'm not just waiting on him. I should be like breaking the grips, looking to kick under and just attacking. Otherwise, his only other option is to go, let's have you go to like knee down. He might start to bring one knee down or two knees, doesn't really matter. Usually they're gonna have one knee down kind of resting like a combat base. In that case, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be able to get under him as easily usually, but I can start looking for that elbow knee space. So I'm angling my toes between his armpit, break, and then look, I can start attacking, you know, uh, umaplata. I can even, while keeping the other foot in the bicep, I can go cross collar to the collar sleeve guard and really have a good pull there. And then I can shoot triangle, or if you're shorter, usually we're gonna try and do that umaplata, right? I'm here, you know, I'm having trouble getting this base. If he's keeping this elbow down, that's fine. You know, I can try to break this way, but it's kind of tight. What I can also do, I can move myself to the side. I can break more to the side now. And look, I'm gonna go shin to shin here, and then off balance him. Open, I stay up different. Yeah, off balance, open. You know, I have some sweeps here. You know, a lot of the guys are going for X guard now like the Conor DeAngelis uh, kind of sit-up guard. I can also, when I do that move, I broke, shin comes in. I can also kick this out, back to Umaplata, triangle, or, you know, some other attack, you know. Maybe I throw a wrist lock in there for you guys. Okay, and that's basically it. There's a lot more stuff, guys. If you want to learn more about the spider guard and how it fits into, like, my open guard game, guys, please check out the short guy guard. Also make sure to check out Jeff's uh, social media. He's got some great stuff up there too. All right, guys, until next time, peace out. Peace, peace, peace. And ciao.